Hey y'all. Happy Thursday. She is going to be out of school, probably running me crazy as per usual. Well, I would like to say this out to the city. Child, we here. We here. Let me go ahead and set the move. Get things rolling around here. Hey, King. Mia Knight. Missing in action. Night time, girl. We be talking about. Hey, girl. Right on time. Y'all never been sleep all day and still be tired. Oh. <laughs> I just got a blood. It's so funny to me, y'all. What's going on, y'all? Y'all can hear me, we good. I, I told y'all, I feel like I'm in here. My audio jack. Oh, Lord. Y'all, I'm in here talking to myself. All right, let me go back out and. Testing one, two, three. You sound better. If not, I'm going to switch these good old words. Or the same. How it sound? Y'all can hear me? How it sound? No one would know me. Better or worse? The same power. Let me switch the mic. All right, how we sounding now? Good, better, best. What we, what we up to? High sound, high sound. Testing one, two, three, three, two, one. How we sound? How we sound? How we sound? How we sound? Okay, all right then. Let's go, let's go, let's go. My apologies. Whew, child. Hold on, my stage coming up, holding me. To my left, to, 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 to. What I was saying was, let me take this opportunity to welcome everybody back to the city, baby. Y'all trust me, y'all ain't miss out on nothing because I was just, you know, just rambling on about good old nothing, child. Hey, everybody. So, shout out to OG Dub in the building. Aaron Masil. Hey, Mama Cousin Tammy. I had said hey to you all, MIA Night, Adventures of a Southern Belle, Brenda McCarty McCarty, Inky, baby. I ain't never seen you in here, child, but welcome to the city. Camille 1970. Mm. Brandis Davis said it was worse. God, I know that's right. Lyrica Anderson, just bad and just horrible. What are you up to, child? Get your life together. So, dear Marshall, hey, love, Miss Pretty Planner, Sharek, Marvelyn Cottle. Do, 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 do. Um, the man, there you go, DJ. F you sue me. Let me get this um good old stage going. Somebody had asked me in the comments yesterday, saying, is that red stage you be burning? It looks red. It is red. It's called dragon's blood. It is said to protect from negative energy. That is why I switched from white to red. Oh, speaking of the real Empress Habable. Girl, shout out to the family, Miss uh, the real Empress Lori. You tell everybody I say, hey, girl. Hey, y'all. Your grandson, I understood. Yep. Um, I got the website up and running, baby. The website is up and running. 
Um, so definitely check that out. I posted it earlier in my community. Like I said, I don't have to come up here and oversell to y'all. I'm not about to sound like no salesperson or, you know, whatever you may call it. Um, just understand that my work works, you know. And, you know, I'm here just to help people. Um, uh, what's when our situation? They say, hey, hey, y'all. Uh, Jeff the Ring Duke say, so dear Marshall, let's go ahead and, you know, get this here together, child. Mm, mm, mm. Then they always talking stuff. Don't be burning the stage in a corner. I heard a load of green city in a corner of the room with the windows closed. My windows be open. Child, y'all gotta stop playing with me. Stop it, stop it, stop it. Cut it out. Let go and let God. Loyalty over love. Hmm. I'm working, but I'm listening. Go ahead and make them coins, baby. Make them coins. Um, remember when I told y'all about uh the lady that live in the tent? Y'all know who I'm talking about. I ain't gotta run through that story. I remember um on that video I had looked in the comments, because I'm nosy like that. And somebody in the comments said, Yahoo, to please bless me so that I could bless this this poor woman. And I thought that was the funniest thing in the world. I'm like, oh Lord, our people so nosy. Um, I had a conversation with my grandmother on city and um this my my church grandma, this this the my Baptist grandmother, you know. And um, she was like, she said, what you doing in life? Are you allowing God to use you finally? What's going on with your music? Are you out there spreading the word? I said, grandma, if you only knew. I go live on YouTube every night. I'm getting there. <laughs> so she was like, well, what's your name on YouTube? Because I was on YouTube just yesterday. I said, grandma, let me work my way up to learn how to stop cursing. <laughs> let me get my life together, grandma. Now, I'm, he, he's still working on me, child. He's still working on me. So, I, you know. Let me get my life together. No, we might be seeing my grandma in the building real soon. Real soon. So, yep, yep, yep. Hey, Tanya Myers. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. All right, it's 7-Eleven. So, I'm turning over a new leaf tonight on my own accord. I have my good old handy daddy notebook. I'm not really pulling out the file. I'm not pulling out that file cabinet tonight. Let me go look at my video because I had to switch devices to so, the things that I had over on Yonder. I got something a little different over here. Whoa, Z Music, girl, you on the clock too? Okay, girl. Mystic Breeze. I know that's right, baby. I wish I had a good old Mystic Breeze flowing through this hair right about now. Um, let's see. Mm -hmm. Shout out to everybody in the building. As we travel on down to Cincy, do not forget to take your shoes off at the door. Leave them on the outside of the door. You don't need them over here. You don't need them over here. In here. You don't need them in here. Hey, Dewana Tyler. Hey, beautiful. All right. So, I have not listened to this video, y'all. I just watched it a little while back. So, I'm going to let y'all listen to it, stop when necessary. And then I'm going to go through my little notes that I have and let y'all know what we're talking about tonight. Um, Some people may leave. Some people may stay. Either way, I always tell you, baby, I'm not holding nobody. I ain't holding nobody. Let me put up my little disclaimer real quick. Whatever I say in this video, whatever I decide to show in this video, is that of my opinion? I am allowed to express myself. It is my first amendment right that I can say whatever I want to say. And if you don't like it, then you can go, baby. And don't take a to-go plea. Hey, little girl, look at little girl. You go live a long time, girl. We was just dragging you, girl. We ain't going nowhere. I heard that sexy internationally. All right, let's get into this good old video. And we go run it. Can y'all hear good? It sounds choppy on my end. It's choppy on my phone. Can y'all hear it? Did y'all hear what, they, what we talking about? Hey, Lola. Hey, Lola Bunny. Can y'all hear? Why I look so far over in the corner? Let me go on over. Can y'all hear? Because I usually, where I be sitting at? Down when I'm all out of, out of frame on the day. Can y'all hear? Can y'all, nobody can hear? Good. Hey, Kevin. 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 All right, good. Let's run it back. Well, let me say this. This is um, Tita Tita talking about King Vaughn's soul being trapped inside of a studio. We can hear. All right. So let's run it. What's good, baby? Hey, uh, 
Caving, Dino. My bad, she talks too slow for me, especially in this video. Let me get straight into it. Tonight I am drinking on my good old eggnog. I just stole one of the children cups. This is not alcoholic eggnog. Bear with me. If I gotta uh, get up and run to the bathroom, y'all already know what time of day it is. Don't ask no questions. Just know I'll be back short. Thank you, uh, Kevin Dino. I don't know why I can really say your name. That's my heart, King Vaughn. All right, so basically what she was saying in the video is that she went to Atlanta and she is saying that King's, King Vaughn's soul is trapped in the studio. Now, given what we know, because I got a whole lesson I'm about to teach tonight, baby. Um, given what we know about Tita Tita, oh, Donald. Okay, thank you, Donald. Yeah, the, the cypher drops tomorrow, I think, for 6 p.m. Central Standard Time. I can't wait either, child. The, the New Orleans Christmas cypher. I posted it up, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to post it whenever they post it. So I'm excited about that. Um, and thank you. Thank you for sharing. Um... I feel like I know who that is. <laughs> and if that's who I think it is, welcome to the city. Um, so, yeah, um, what we know about Tita Tita is that she's a great liar. Only one trap is her in La La Land. Exactly. So she's a great liar. So what she said in the video was that um, while she was there in the studio, that they had escorted King Vine's soul on a dog chain. Now, when most of us first heard this story of course we all believed it but i am here to go ahead and debunk that today um mccarty mccarty i know that's right um hello family hello Stan. hello tonya baby so let's just think about this for a second again given what we know about her she is a pathological liar she watched much too much tv she was saying that she was scared out of her mind the things that she saw there it's like you know it was out of this world it was amazing to her Think about it. How can someone's soul be escorted into a room on a dog chain? What I'm going to do is drop the link a little early today because I want to give people an opportunity to actually call in. Allow me to get through my good old lesson. If y'all have questions, um, I'm probably not going to be paying attention too much to the comments, but I have no problem with anybody asking questions, clarification. Again, I just want to say this is my opinion. The only facts that I have to back this up is in just things that I see. Again, I am divinely led. So if you agree, I'm sorry, if you disagree with anything that I'm saying, not a problem. I see Kay Hunter is saying that it can happen. Exactly. Proving my point right on time, child. If you disagree with it, that is perfectly fine. I just say, you know, let us agree to disagree. And I have no problem with calling in like, hey, you're saying, I disagree with what you're saying, et cetera, et cetera not a problem with that being said let's get into it so what i want to talk about tonight is again debunking the theory that his soul never was trapped in the studio he was not ushered in on a dog leash and also you cannot sell your soul your soul is not up for sale so as i get into my notes it is written as we have said time and time again what does it profit a man to gain the whole wide world and to lose his soul First, we must all understand that we are all a ball of energy. If we're speaking scientifically, we are said to be a ball of energy. We have the same molecular makeup as the stars. In the Bible, it tells us that we are gods. We are created in his image. Again, scientifically, we are... I'm not going to read the comments, y'all, because I'm going to get thrown off. Um, they're saying that we are a ball of energy. If you know anything about energy, energy never dies. It's an infinite thing. It never dies. And... It can only be transferred. Keep that in mind. Energy never dies. It can only be transferred. Um, an example of energy being transferred would be reincarnation. People have um, memories of being, you know, past lives. Or even in spirituality, you'll say, oh, I knew this person in my past life. Or even 
Another example would be deja vu. Damn, have I not seen this before? That is energy being transferred. That is us, you know, coming again. Say no to school. Shout out to school gang in the building. All right. Um, another thing that I was taught is what goes around comes around. And that is just another example of energy being transferred. Karma. Energy being transferred. What goes around comes around. Whatever you put out, you get right back. Um, your soul cannot be sold. Understand that your soul is not something tangible. You cannot just reach out and grab it. Think about when we're shopping and we buying stuff. If I buy your phone, now I have this phone. It is tangible. It is mine. I paid for it. I bought it. It's mine. How can we buy a soul when nobody can reach it? We can't even reach it, so it's not tangible. It is unreachable, unreachable, and it is unaccessible to another human being. When we talk about blood contracts, because they said that that's how they sell their soul, they sign these contracts. When we talk about bl blood contracts. Blood contracts are merely spell words, and we understand that spell words are also trigger words, and they are used to hypnotize the subconscious mind. It is merely small words that only resonates big when we hear them. And I gave an example of like the wizard in the Wizard of Oz. He just had this big old voice that just seemed so controlling and stuff. And then they pull the curtain back and he a little bit of magic. So these are only spell words just to try to eat away at your subconscious mind. Um, blood contracts are insurance policies. So once they pull that curtain back and they saw that the wizard was just a little bit old man, that is just an insurance policy. There is no such thing as blood contracts because you cannot sell your soul. That is just an insurance policy that the, that the industry has over each artist, each celebrity that is that comes into the game. So when they say that they're signing over their life, they are just actually giving these people authority over them. And then these people, because they are a business, they put insurance on each celebrity. We just go say celebrity, not artists just yet. That death, death is something that everyone fears, whether they choose to or choose not to. People fear the unknown. Nobody knows for sure what happens when we cross on over. There are a million theories. I, for one, I told you I'm a teacher, a reader. I have books full of all this here. I'm books. Look, look how thick this is. Books full of people theories of what they think happened when we travel on over but nobody knows for sure so my theory would be death is the one thing that all of us have in common that we are afraid of because we have no idea what happens once we cross over so in order to keep somebody controlled you the best thing you can do is control them with fear take spells and magic all the way out of the picture i can control you with fear if you are afraid of something i can control you with it so now that you are entered into this blood contract now that I have authority over you, now that I have this insurance policy over you, you're going to dance the way that I say dance. You're going to move how I say move, or the punishment will be death. Um, so I said the industry is able to keep celebrities in a chokehold by saying, um, by using words such as blood contract or you sold your soul, Yada, yada, yada. Fear of death. Celebs are modern day slavery again. Slaves, in my opinion. They are forced to carry out agendas as they know nothing about the agendas. And if they know about the agendas, there is nothing that they can do about it because they have signed these contracts and signed their whole existence in this realm over to these people in the industry. When we think back to slavery days, the consequences of disobeying a master, you get beat. You die. You get hung on a tree. And that's a story for another day because I could bring, uh, I could talk about um, the slaves hanging on a tree and how that goes back to money and the leaves is used to process money. And I, I could run that story all day long, but that's a, that's a story for another day. So now we go into, okay, so since we're talking about slavery, the word master, master is defined as someone who is in charge, especially over servants or slaves. When we talk about servants and slaves, I am talking about celebrities. Who, ce celebrities, I'm sorry, yeah. Um, celebrities are servants and slaves 
who offer their talents and gifts as a service to others for a monetary gain. Yet they find themselves in a pimping hole relationship. And I say that because if it is your, if you are born to sing, if you are born to talk, give the news, born to act, born to dance, that is your birthright. That is something that you were born to do. So now when you go into these contracts with these people, they take over your whole very existence. I remember Fantasia. I remember being a little girl rooting for Fantasia. Cell phones had just kind of started getting popular. American Idol, you could go ahead and text that number in to vote for somebody. Every night I'm up there voting for Fantasia. You know what I'm saying? When Fantasia won, she cried. I cried too. And then years, um, years later, keep in mind, Fantasia is her name that she was named at birth. Years later, I find out that she don't even own her name Fantasia anymore. She don't even own it. So that's why I said it's a pimping whole relationship because you are using all that you got to make this money. And at the end of the day, all that money that you're making for just being you, for using your gifts and talents and living out your purpose, you got to give that to other people. And the TLC, for example, left with a small percentage. Um, now we can talk about the music industry. In music, there is something called masters. Masters is what gives you the legal right to freely appropriate and maximize your money making opportunities. So when they're talking about, um, oh, these artists own their masters, this artist owns their masters or they're trying to buy their masters back. Keep in mind what the word master means. If I'm telling you that these celebrities are slaves, how can a slave own a master? Pay attention to words. I told you they put certain words in place to play on your subconscious. A slave will never own his master and a slave will never own itself. When I say a slave will never own itself, I'm talking about their master, their music, their material, their talent is in this music, but it's not legally theirs. So what happens when a slave now wants to buy its own master and buy they sell back? Then we hear about them gone missing. When we talk about them going missing, and now we can start talking about the movie Get Out. In the movie Get Out, what happened? People disappearing. It looked like, and I'm going to say, I don't think that they could, again, my opinion, you can't take one soul and put it into another body. That does not exist. Again, energy never dies. It only transfers, but I don't think you could transfer it to another human body. I just, I refuse to believe that. I refuse to believe it. But what they do do is put people in a coma-like state and they hypnotize them. I can show y'all many examples of this where celebs are hypnotized. Think about when they have these um, celebrity glitches. There's, you could go to Trap House Kitchen channel and look at how many times um, you know he's showing examples of celebrities having glitches. That is because now you don't want to do what masks say. What we gonna make you? Disney World, the man Walt Disney was the first person to know what it was Hitler, way back to Hitler, then Disney, where they were up there really doing shock therapy on people and really doing hypnosis and stuff on them. So again, just my belief, my theory is that MK Ultra, thank you, is that if you know abide by the master, that is your first warning. That's your first warning. Then after that, it's that. Cause I ain't about to play with you no more. You either do what I say, cause remember, money rules the world. They say money is the root of all evil. Again, they say things for a reason. They put it right there in your face. You just got to put the pieces of the puzzle together. So money ruling, ruling, ruling the world. And if your talents and your gifts is making all this money, I'm not about to lose out on the money because you don't want to go with my agenda. So if you're going to keep trying to work for what I'm telling you to do, if, if the slave is going to keep running away from the master, the final punishment is death. And then now I can cash out on this big old insurance policy, this million dollar, billion dollar insurance policy. Blood contract. Now it's my money. You don't want to do what I say? Fuck you. I'm still going to get paid regardless. Uh, I'm going to conclude with this. Let me go ahead and drop the link because I see people asking questions and I can't really look at it because I'm I got ADHD, y'all. So let me get distracted. Real easy. Forget the hell I'm going to say next. Um, so if anybody want to call in, y'all come on, call in. I want to say this. In conclusion, your flesh can wither away. You can die. 
Your energy can transfer, but your soul cannot be sold or even tampered with. In the Bible, it talks about a war between God and Satan, saying that God gave Satan freedom to roam the earth, seeking for whom he can devour. Even Satan himself, if we are speaking biblically, Satan cannot take somebody's soul. He doesn't even have authority to touch a soul. So if Satan, and people always love to say, oh, Satan, you know, God, the devil made me do it. So if y'all get that much power to him, he has some type of power, right? His work work. But he doesn't even have the power to take souls, collect souls. So if he, with more power than us, cannot do such, there's nobody walking this earth that can do it. Therefore, I can come to my conclusion that King Vaughn's soul is not trapped in the studio. He was not ushered in on a dog chain. I would rather have said that he came in through the window. He came in through the open door. They left the door open. And his soul came in and began to attack people. Your soul cannot be sold. Again, my opinion. Just my opinion. It's 730. We could go ahead and um, say, man, I share right about now. You know. There you go, Lola. Satan needs permission from God to touch you. That's why we have free will. Exactly. So if Satan need permission, don't you think if somebody's trying to take somebody's soul, they're going to be way at the bottom of, let me speak to God, list. They're going to be way at the bottom. I see the man dropping the link. Let me know. Um, We can go ahead and say amen and um, let the choir go ahead and lead us out. <laughs> let me know what y'all trying to do. Let me know what y'all trying to do, baby. Um, let me look up something real, real, real quick. I see y'all keep saying y'all like my earrings. Thank you, baby. Thank you. I told y'all I've been here on um, doing my DIY Christmas gifts. Oh, let me say this. Nas X, Lil Nas X, right? When he first came out, he was appealing to children. Then all of a sudden, once he got all the children, he switched over to saying that he gay and this whole agenda. Meg the Stallion. Do y'all honestly think that Meg the Stallion only wants to rap about sex? Do y'all honestly think she wants to be the whore of the fucking industry? The agenda. These people don't want to do that. These people just got time. They want rap. They want sing. They want act. They want to do this. They want to do this. They want to do that. But once you get into these contracts with people, you are buying by it. It's like, shit, I'm going to die either fucking way. I'd rather die rich, right? Maybe not us, but you know. Uh oh, hold on. Hey, girl. I was supposed to call Hi. you. Hi. There you go. Perfect. How you doing? I'm good. How are you? Girl, I'm here. I'm here. <laughs> girl, I don't, I just want to say, like, I'm so glad that you're speaking on this tonight and, like, demystifying a lot of things. A lot of things that are said in the quote unquote spiritual community or just period, because it causes a lot of fear monger mongering, but not just again in the spiritual community, but like in life, period. And it lords over a lot, a lot of people. Mm -hmm. So when you break things down and you say, you know, basically break down an equation, it's it's like it demystifies things and it makes it simpler and it takes the fear away. Mm -hmm. And I'm just so glad to hear somebody saying this because I, I get a lot of downloads myself and uh, revelations and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. But it's not I don't always share everything because it's not always a time to sh or the time to share things. So just I just wanted to come on and say, like, you're absolutely right. And like going back to the spiritual community, like a lot of people use a lot of fear um, words and trigger words. And it's like if I say Stuff. basically like if I say things that don't exist mm -hmm. but it has maybe a little bit of truth to it like you're gonna think that I'm x y and z like you're gonna think that I'm I'm like everything and it's like you're gonna it's like it puts me at the top the top of the pyramid you know what I mean yeah. and that's how a lot of people are a lot of these um I don't know what to call them um these Handlers. leaders say that again <laughs> handlers masters yeah but no like these like these gurus let's just say like these 
individual people who run a group of people. You know what I mean? Like um, sheep, but what's the name of the person who um, keeps the sheep together the or manages the sheep? The shepherd, right. So now I'm your shepherd. You understand? Yeah. So yeah. it it's just a lot. It's a lot. Yeah. Yeah. I appreciate and people, you so much. Yes. And I just want to say, like, people really, um, th these spells need to be broken and all this, like, these lies and these fear mongery tactics and words, it, they really need to stop because like I had um, just really quick, I had did a, a while. I won't even get into that, but like, this is all yeah, part of the, time. okay. Like I had did a, a reading on the Travis Scott um, situation when it happened or probably like a week after. And then like, I just realized like people was like, was it a ritual? And, and when I was getting in the cars, it was like, <clears throat> the event itself, no, but the whole after effect, the whole everything that after it happened, I'm like, just reading the cards, it was like, yeah, it, it's a ritual. But then I began to understand it as a person, like, that's the ritual, like, the, like everything about it, like the reports after the situation, everybody blowing up and putting scary images as thumbnails, like, this was a ritual, blood sacrifice, demons, Illuminati, that's the ritual. People don't understand. So, it's the like behind it. That's the ritual. That's yes, the whole package of everything. I yeah, that energy. Yeah. Yes, mm -hmm. the lies, the truths, all that. That's the ritual. That's part of the ritual, and it being reported and how um you take it in. You know what I mean? That's mm -hmm. the ritual. Because if this yep. is said to be a, a a a game of minds about minds, bodies, and souls, then people. So, let's just say some people are playing the game well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's all I have to say right now. And yes, cult leaders, basically, whether it's guru, spirituality, new ageism, X, Y, and Z, the cult leaders. They said they love when you say X, Y, and Z. I think somebody said it a minute ago. <laughs> Thank mm -hmm. you. I just wanted to come on here and say that. I appreciate you. Do me a favor. Drop your um your Instagram and your cash app back in the link for me because the one day we had that. Like, I think I might have had it wrong for something. So put it in the comments again. Yeah. Because they do have a few okay. people um, was trying to get in contact with you today. Yeah, I had it mixed up a little bit, but God works in mysterious ways. I realized that today and I fixed it. So both my cash tag and my Instagram are the same. It's mm -hmm. exactly the same, except um on Instagram without the dollar sign, of course. Yep. Yeah, go ahead, drop it in the comment for me when you go back. Okay, I got you. So people can see it. Mm -hmm. Thank you. All right, drop. <laughs> Thank right. you. Have a good one. You too. Yeah. Anybody else want to call up? Y'all free to come on in. I seen somebody in the comments was talking about clones. Um. Also, we had this discussion a thousand which ways. Um. In my mind, clones do not exist. I think clone meat exists. I don't think clone people, my opinion, exist. And I feel like that because when we look at um what happened with Gucci Man. We all know that's not the same Gooch, the same, uh, you know, who out there went in there, baby, that, you know, it's totally a different person. Again, my opinion, my opinion, it's a different person. And also, they had somebody that came out and was like, damn, like, I got to put the Gucci suit on? Are you serious? And it's, it's so many videos all over YouTube that you can look at and see when they're talking about celebs having, um, or re regular people having to put on these, these costumes or these masks. So that is what that is. They are playing on you guys. The fear, fear. They're, they're playing on y'all fear, like, left and right. Hey, Verlin, for real, for real. Like, they want y'all to believe that there's clones and there's cloning. Um, I remember we used to call it uh, clonidine. <laughs> I don't know the real word for it, but we used to just, you know, have a joke called clonidine. And be like, you know, where you been at, baby? And clonidine, shit. Look, somebody just put it up there. Mm-hmm. We call it clonidine. You saying something else. Look at up. Finding truth with pleasure. Mm. Loving that name, child. Loving that name. I think Meg might be a man. I think Meg is a man. Honestly. And especially because I'm on... Um... Oh, it's so crazy. I, I, met, I met Meg the same one time. Not really, but yeah. When I first moved out here, I used to work for this um this company. We worked in the studio. We did um, voiceovers and stuff. And uh, I remember I got there and it was like, oh, you know, hold on. We got somebody in here. Give us a second. And I was like, okay, so I'm like, who the fuck that is? So I swear, I, I, I tell y'all no word of lie. I was like, well, I guess I'll go sit in the other room. And it was like, no, you can actually wait in your car. Welcome, get you no disrespect. I was like, all right, cool. So I go to my car and I'm like, 
who the fuck they got a whole transvestite in that so my mind it went somewhere else i'm like oh lord everybody in that game and come to find out it was made for sale you know and i was like oh shit you know, at that time she was not popular nobody you know i didn't know her like talking about it but then, as i saw her so grow, i was like damn and i always go back um to thinking about that i was like i i really could have sworn that that was a fucking a man and she was sitting down so it's not like oh she was standing up and you know she was so tall and just reminded me of a man just everything in me told, told me that that was a fucking man and even um man there's so much i could see y'all um, okay leave by nature baby and um take your time and drive i see the vessel in the building what's up vessel hey y'all hey okay so i'm, I'm scrolling through my little timeline on youtube because i was looking for a particular video but anyway, I'm looking at them. Um, she never said that she wasn't. Why would they? Why would they? And you know what's so crazy before I get into this? What's so crazy about this here? They do so much to keep us small-minded. The things that that we think, um, normally I don't do this type of content, but I ain't going to hold you, shorty. Said some things I really agree with. I wanted to hate on her so bad, but salute sin. Like I said in the beginning, we can all just uh, agree to disagree. I don't have a problem with it. I appreciate your honesty. You really could have kind of kept that to yourself, but um, salute to you, you know. But um, I want I'm saying I'm scrolling through this timeline. I wanted to use um, oh that's what I wanted to see because I'm about to talk about Wendy Williams. But um, certain things that we that they you know make us think about, we be you know think about oh this we'll we'll focus so much on something. When there's so much other stuff going on. And I forgot where the fuck I was going with going every day. So I seen that dumbass comment just kinda like pissed me the fuck off. But anyway, um Wendy Williams. Let me rummage through this video real quick. Ever wonder before I show it to y'all. I hey, I told you I got idiot. You can't come throwing dumbass shit like that. Then it was a big old paragraph, so I'm thinking they saying some real shit. So I want to fucking read it, and that's what the hell you're talking about. It just made me mad. You're like, you're shaming yourself. Oh, yeah. Let me fast forward. Hold on, y'all. I'm coming. It's getting on my nerves, child. Fucking pissed me off. I had something to fucking say. Who want a peanut butter and jelly sandwich? Vine, what are you talking about? Vine, love. Oh, I guess I didn't pay it. All right, let's just look at the beginning of it. She up there falling down. And I noticed that every time we have these celebrity glitches, they are always, um, they always, you know, doing the same passing out thing. Oh, oh, let me go pull up. Oh, let me go to one of Trap House video. Trap, Trap, you have so many goddamn commercials. Let me go see. What? Trap in the building? Trap should just come up with the damn computer on the screen and just run some fucking video and shit. Hold on. Yeah, that was scary. Oh, then all of a sudden, oh. So they show Wendy Williams having a little glitch. And then next thing you know, now they're talking about they didn't cancel. Oh, child, let me write it down so I don't forget. So they show Wendy Williams having a glitch, right? So like I said, sometimes we be so distracted with certain things that we didn't really pay attention to what's going on. I just uh, ran across the party being one too. So anyhow, um, now they're talking about Wendy Williams was in a hospital, right? So Wendy Williams in a hospital, Lord, I'm trying to take notes out so I don't uh, lose my place. So when the William goes to the hospital and it's about some, you know, she, I forgot the hell it's there because they lie so much. I can't keep up with the lies. My mind don't go there. So, so when they do that, um, now they talking about something that, you know, they not going to be able to have her daytime show no more. I was like, no, when they didn't got a fancy and some shit, they didn't go with their motherfucking agenda and they tried to tell them that bitch keep my motherfucking mouth closed. So they give them drugs. Yes, they give them drugs. Correct. Um, let me know. Correct. Um, notice that all of them are on drugs. They have to be on drugs because they keep them so fucking busy. They don't know whether they're coming or going. That is part of the hypnosis process. The people, when they don't have enough sleep, then their mind starts playing tricks on them. It's easy to control them. It's it's like it's like starving a nigga out. It's like choking them out. It's it's 
so many ways it's always supposed to do. So that says she had grave disease. I don't know. I'm, I'm not even worried about that. But I know that anyway, I was like, well, damn, if they say Wendy, who they going to put up there? So Nick Cannon, we didn't see Nick Cannon up there with, with the turban on his head looking like he went part of cooling with the crew and for the longest on while and out. So then, remember Nick got in trouble for talking about the motherfucking J-E-W-S. I can't say it on YouTube because I have seen people use their platform for even saying the fucking word. But y'all know what I'm talking about. So he apologizes, makes this big old thing, and then he got the new wild and out come out. And then all of a sudden, now nah, he comes up on the show. I remember um when it aired, this is the same night that aired when Jasmine and Rock was on the show. I remember this day, you know, very clearly. And he had on this fucking suit with this little pink shit on, and all of a sudden he had a haircut. And when I'm noticing that he have a haircut, now all of a sudden he up there brushing his hair. He's talking about the haircut. And I was like, well, damn, that's funny for him to fucking point that out. Because just a minute ago, you just was growing your hair. And I was like, is this nigga getting braids or drapes? He never did any one of the two, just kept a fucking turbine on. So now when I see him up here with this fresh cut baby hair brushed to the front, all duck, all sheen from, from side to side, front to back, I'm like, well, goddamn, check this shit out here. I'm noticing the pink shirt. And in the middle of him talking, he is up there and he like, I could just imagine a woman saying, because girl, da, na, 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 na. and I hate when I see men trying to act like they gay and doing all that, because I'm like, oh, bitch, you part of that fucking agenda. What is going on here? So when I saw it, I'm trying to explain to my sister who is not on the same page as me. She just think, you know, that I'm fucking crazy, which I am, bitch. But I be knowing what the fuck I be talking about. But anyhow, that's neither here nor there. Um, this motherfucker, uh, <laughs> I was telling her, I said, girl, they gonna take Nick out, bitch. She said, I ain't gonna take him out. Here you go with this shit. I said, why the fuck he up there with that peak on? Why is he acting like a fucking girl? Oh, you don't know what you're talking about. Here you go with this shit. So I said, where the fuck is Wendy Williams? Oh, because he had replaced Wendy Williams because she can't do the show no more. I said, bitch, that's scary. You don't think nothing wrong with that? Said, here you go. No, bitch, here you go. Matter of fact, where's the fucking door? Because I'm about to go right now. Now, two days later, they pop up talking about his baby didn't die. The baby was sick at birth with the brain tumor, brain disease. I don't know what the hell. That is sickening to me. When they talk about sacrifices, they've been doing sacrifices way back in the biblical days. They was doing it with animals. So nowadays, I don't think people could do sacrifices with animals because we eat them motherfuckers up too much. But again, that is just my opinion. But now all of a sudden, think about, think about if I'm running a network and I'm telling you, you want to come get on here, you want to run at a certain time. Well, let's say that the hottest time to go is 7 p.m., right? That's the hottest time where everybody going to be there. So I'm going to raise the price on my 7 p.m. slot, correct? So for Wendy Williams' show, that is a hot commodity slot. That daytime television show, that's a hot spot. So you have to pay some great money, or the people behind you have to pay some great-ass motherfucking money to get in that motherfucking position, that slot. That's a red flag when I see Nick up there. The old shit, shit finna get real, bitch. Then they made him cut his hair. Ooh. And he got pink on. Oh. And he up there doing movements like a girl. Oh. Wait a minute, bitch. What's going on here? Not a, not a baby that transitioned on over to sweet baby Jesus' arms. And not only that, let me tell you how they play in our fucking faces, right? Now, I'm going to say this. We don't know if the baby dead or alive. We don't know if the baby ever existed. Because I didn't see photos where they got the, 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 the realistic looking babies. So we don't fucking know. You know what I'm saying? We don't, we don't know. But one thing that I do know, and especially about media and entertainment, I used to tell Ratchet this all the time. Play on people's heartstrings. Play on their heartstrings. Think about a violin. If I come up here and be like, Y'all think about the lady in the tent over there on T to T the channel. Think about the lady in the tent. You play on people's heartstrings, so people not gonna see that T to T the is up there fucking over everybody, making their causing destruction to everybody. Like they're not looking at that. They're just so sad to see this fucking lady up here in the tent. They're distracted by the lady in the tent. That emotional part. Throw that motherfucking win every time, right? So. When he got up there and did an episode to where he wanted to talk to his therapist about the loss of his baby on national TV. That is an emotional card. That is to keep you distracted from what? I need to write that down. Because I'm going to go back and watch that episode. I'm going to go back and watch when he was up there talking to the therapist. And I'm, I'm going to break that down. I'm going to break that down. Because what the fuck was going on in there? Or, or was that to keep us distracted from worrying about what the fuck really going on with Wendy Williams? 
We don't have to think. We don't give a fuck about Wendy no more, whether she live, dead, coma, COVID, wheelchair, bed frame, shower curtain rack. We don't even worry about it no more. Because we too busy worrying about poor Nick and the baby, right? He wants to stay in the spotlight. At what cost? At what cost is he going to stay in that, in that spotlight? What are we being distracted from? So I just want to challenge y'all. Uh, it's 749. I'm going to drop this again. If anybody want to come up, child. If not, don't worry about it. I can run this, this whole show by myself. Me and the love goddess. Who then came up here, baby? Run this bad boy out by myself. I challenge y'all. Like, when things are going on, so definitely... Okay, look at it like, well, why is this such a hot topic? What is going on? Y'all can see me and put my leaves down, girl. Um, <laughs> um, what is going on? Why, why, is, why are they showing this to us so much? Why are they making it such a big deal? That's what I want to see. So when you see things that's just so big and over popularized. Think about what the fuck is going on in the background. Why are they keeping us distracted with this here? Saying I went to Wendy Williams' show and she really can't stand by herself. They walked her up to shake our hands. She might be sick. Nick tried for that spot and didn't get enough views, so they dropped him. They, they dropped him? Let me go. Pull up the file cabinet, baby. Oh, girl, I ain't gonna write all this over. Y'all see this light blinding the fuck out of me. Let me turn this down. Thought I was tripping. <laughs> Excuse me. Yep. No, no, no. Then he didn't get canceled. He's still on, girl. No, he's still on now. He's still on. He not on Lola. They didn't cancel his show. They didn't cancel his show. And that's why I'm telling y'all, y'all got to do y'all research. Look it up. Don't just take with the first thing you hear and run with it. You got to look it up, baby. Got to look it up. Distraction. School is in session. Welcome to State University. I know that's right. Nene went in by Wendy. I saw that too. They did a test run a couple weeks ago and said his views were too low to have that spot. I don't see that from what I say. He, he's still up and running. Oh, somebody coming up. Hold on, yo. Somebody named C. What's up, C? Welcome to Sister City. Hello. I'm so sorry, my mic was muted. Can everybody oh, there hear me? Hey, you? Sorry, you on. There you go. Hey. Hey, Hi. Dami. Dami three. How you feeling? I am okay, my love. Um, first I want to say um that you are the bomb. Let me say that. Take, um, take boom. Thank you. I, I want to say some other stuff, but that'll have to be privately. Okay. <laughs> um, but I, I'm actually. You know what you just, trying to do? Take me on a date? Oh no, girl, no. <laughs> <laughs> you, I got a check nowadays. <laughs> 
um i just wanted to um make a comment um because i i'm actually just hopping on your um live stream and i mm-hmm. didn't know you were coming live tonight and i, I wait on you every, almost every night to come live so i do i do watch you um so we up in here real heavy in sin city so okay thank and, you and uh <laughs> a lot of stuff that you have uncovered i am going through myself um but i i am a spiritualist um so i i know that you said earlier and i'm just getting on um that um it's okay to you know agree to disagree so i wanted to say something about the selling of the soul comment earlier um mm-hmm. because i am in the industry I, and i am a spiritualist these people are actually selling souls there are things mm-hmm. actually being done and souls actually can be sold and mm-hmm. energy can be taken um that is very much real it is very much a very scary thing very scary um mm-hmm. i've had industry people trying to be my handler and do things to me in the industry so that those things are very real it is a lot more deeper because now people say well oh he sold his soul or she sold her soul they don't really understand what that actually means so break it down for me i'm all ears girl break it down <laughs> um it's 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 a little it's a little deep and de- demonic um like earlier when you said the um I think the blood contracts or mm-hmm. whatever, those are um, absolutely real. <laughs> but um, like I teach my students, the signing of your signature, your John Hancock is uh, is a ritual within itself. Like me, I never sign nothing with my my name. I always sign something with my spiritual sigil because when you do sign contracts, if you sign something spiritually, they cannot fuck with you period they can't Mm -hmm. you know anything i sign whether i'm getting mail and i gotta sign for it i draw my sigil and i and i move about and it helps me in particularly in this particular reality like i just had my remember um you remember uh prince started doing it right right exactly Mm -hmm. exactly and he did that for those and they still took his ass out of here and that yeah (laughs) Oh God, I should be laughing. I'm not laughing. It's you're funny seeing. <laughs> but you're you're exactly right. Like, um, I'll I'll give you an example. Mm-hmm. And p- people, well, no, I'll say this. My landlord forged my signature on some documents just a couple of weeks ago. But people okay. that know me know that I don't even sign documents with my name. Mm-hmm. And he didn't know that. So it kind of helps you out when you get ready to, because your signature is your spiritual essence. But that's mm-hmm. that's 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 another thing for another day. That's just something that I teach my students or whatever. But I just wanted to comment on that because I don't want people getting into the industry thinking that that shit is play play because it is absolutely real. Like you mm-hmm. can sign your soul over because most a lot of people in the industry, um, top people in the industry, the elite. Um, and I, I know most of you guys, I know you probably know this thing, but they do have um rituals that they do and I, I don't even know if i should even be telling this information but they do have rituals that they do in certain rooms mm-hmm. in the um, I- record labels you know yeah. yeah so um that stuff is real like i said that stuff is scary um honey back in the day when i used to do uber i didn't have some of the elites in my vehicle honey and i didn't hear some stories and it's just a very uh, serious thing because I've gone through it a little bit myself. Um, mm-hmm. But other than that, girl, um, keep exposing. Um, oh, no, well, I'm not about to let you get off your baby. I need what? to get it. Because I, I love to be, um, I, like I always say, wise man knows he knows nothing, but he takes every opportunity to learn all that he can. So, again, you know, I don't have a problem with people disagreeing with me, but I just need, you know, teach me, you know. So how, right. how what is, how can it take people's souls how can souls be bought Ooh, would that be a contract that they made with the devil because if the devil is real then we gotta agree that god is real right right you're right um let me see if i'm able to even expose this i'll say i'll say it like this without you know anybody coming after my head because once you start exposing demonic stuff honey (laughs) i'll say it like this um there are certain 
spirits. There's a hierarchy spiritually in the spiritual realm. Everybody should know that there's a hierarchy. So once mm-hmm. you start tapping into the hierarchy in the in the demonic realm, they will start to okay. I, I'll give an example. Oh Lord, I know I was gonna be doing all of this. Okay, uh, Quatita. Let's just say this. You see how Ooh, girl, wait, let me like the stage. <laughs> don't go ahead. <laughs> Lord, I hope she don't come from my neck, honey. <laughs> I oh, we're man working. But let me okay. So you okay? Looking at how if y'all saw how Quatita was um pretending to be possessed, right? Yes. Uh, number one, that's dangerous. Um, Very. number two, um, I am Haitian voodoo. We are real voodoo and mumbos. Okay, mm-hmm. we don't play like that. So at there's le- there's levels. You cannot play and pretend to be possessed by any spirit in any loa at all at all yes ma'am so when you got people like me and other people out here that do this shit in real life and we see it on a higher scale a demonic scale what happens is certain spirits they'll do a ritual and they will certain spirits will come down to possess a certain person and that spirit speaks through that person yeah, I've seen it in person. Yes, ma'am. That's what I've been involved right. in. Right. So I'll never do it again. Yeah. Right. <laughs> mm-hmm. So with that being said, there are levels to it. And there are high demonic levels to it. Not even a part of voodoo. Because you got, mm-hmm. you know, you got Haitian voodoo. You got Louisiana voodoo. You got, you know, African voodoo. Mm-hmm. But you have other demonic um, levels that aren't a part of the voodoo culture but I kind of actually takes a part of the actual culture itself but anyway mm-hmm. these demonic spirits come down in these folks child and they possess their ass in these studios and these rappers they are talking to the spirit they're not talking to the person yes and believe it or yes. not these people have to <laughs> these people have to pay money right then and there now some people will say well um wait what their family for what yeah what would the spirit want with money uh money is a spirit within itself so Mm -hmm. when i say there's levels to selling your soul when people say that ignorantly i say well we didn't all sold our soul because we all fuck with money and we all chasing a bag Mm -hmm. okay so yes let me get back on top because I'm finna start preaching and going into some. Girl, other do your thing, girl. I'm over here with this good old egg knife. Take it to preach, child. Preach. Yeah. So what happens is once they are demonically possessed, they have a choice. Then they mm-hmm. have a choice. I know this for a fact. I done been there, done that. They have a choice. They have a choice to either how people. Let me say they have a choice to either go the Illuminati way, and the Illuminati mm-hmm. got their own spirits. Or they have a choice to, if you give something in that fight, yeah. Or they have a choice to go the voodoo way. That mm-hmm. takes lo- a little bit more longer. They don't want to go their ancestral route way. Half of the rappers don't even know about their ancestral lineage. Yes. So they take the quick and easy way, the quick mm-hmm. and easy money. And then they get they get little stuff like rings and necklaces. Like if you watch most of them, look at the mm-hmm. jewelry that they have yep. on. That stuff mm-hmm. is empowered and prayed over and blood has been dripped. Whether it's the blood of a human or blood of an animal, that stuff yep. has power. So they talk to uh, the demonic, you know, demon or whoever has possessed the person and they make that deal. And some of them have to sign a book. You have to put your name in a book, like on some Sabrina, the Chilling Adventures of Sabrina type shit. Mm-hmm. And it's very, very serious. So that just, you know, just that of selling of the soul. I don't want people to think that that's just play play. It is. Uh-huh. It is absolutely real. And it is the most scariest shit to me. <laughs> One of the most- I'm, I'm still confused on how can they obtain a soul? Um, do you, uh, okay, so do you, uh, okay, oh, shit, now you finna have me expose shit. <laughs> I, okay, I'll say it like this. 
a lot of rappers are sacrificing each other. Everybody should know that. It doesn't take a rocket science to see that, but some people still don't believe it. When when I if if I have not made do, and I'm just giving an example, if I have not made do with the spirit I I I um made a deal with, that spirit mm-hmm. is going to ask for my head, my death, or if you don't want to die, you give me somebody else. So like you see some of the rappers, they will sacrifice another soul. Mm-hmm. Now, I don't know, you know, who I believe in heaven and hell, the underworld, all of that stuff. The underworld exists. The underworld, the upper world, whatever. Mm-hmm. So souls can be taken by other than God or who people call God. Mm-hmm. They can be oh. taken. They can be <laughs> held and bound. But the thing is, is this. It can be like, okay, so this is where ancestral veneration comes in at. This is why, you know, of course, you know, you from NOLA. So this is where you see people, you know, venerating their ancestors and, and pouring out the liquor, all this other stuff. Nobody, you, that, nobody that I know does that. I just so happen to know about it. Okay. <laughs> I if, come from a family you, as such. Yes. If you see, um, damn, what I was going to say? If you see, when you see people, you know, oh, if you see people like they're real deep into their culture, whether they practice Ifa, um, Santeria, or whatever, the mm-hmm. venerating of ancestors has to happen. So yeah. sometimes when people sell their soul, they get trapped in limbo. This ain't even, matter of fact, you, a regular person can, can, can die and get trapped in limbo, mm-hmm. but you still can be saved from that limbo um, area in, in the afterlife. But it's up to your alive family, your alive family members to venerate you, to help you, to find the light, to get out of limbo and all of that. Now, mm-hmm. I don't know everything, but I will say this. If a soul gets trapped, can they, you know, come up out that thing? I'm going to be honest with you and say, I don't know. That's why I ain't trying to do nothing. To I just want to go to heaven if it, if it exists <laughs> mm-hmm. and then go on about my business. Um. Mm-hmm. But that 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 is most definitely true. It it is a lot. There there's so many other uh things to the spiritual realm that people need to really not just study but experience. Mm-hmm. Because experience is the best teacher. Mm-hmm. There's this. I'm trying to think about this this country. It's so the end. Um, but it, there's a story. It's, it's on YouTube. This lady. Um, she was like grew up in church or something, something, and um, so people came down. It was like real big in music. She wanted to do music, I think, and they ended up passing her. And they said that she said that they like looked at her, and next thing she know, she was riding a car with them. She ended up on a boat with them. They cracked like two eggs over the water, and the boat immediately went under the water, and they ended up in the of hell. And um, they took her soul and put it inside of a glass, if I remember the story correctly, in Nigeria. Thank you. Yes. And they, they put a soul in a glass and I, it, was, it was like a weird old crazy story. But I remember that story always, always stuck with me because that, that lady uh was very consistent about her story every time she told it. And she was like scared as shit every time she told the fucking story. Like, you like, you know, you could look at her and be like, this is not no paid actress at all. Wow. Oh, oh my God. Like, somebody else gonna be. Oh, that's my best. Story. Hold on. Hey, hey hello. Hello. Hey. Well, I was just uh coming up to chime in on what the uh, caller was saying um uh, in regards to demonic attachment and when you really kind of get like lineage of soul ties. Mm-hmm. So not to be too deep, but like just to kind of chime in on what she said. Um I've had a session um when I first got into my gift and it was a lady where her grandmother, like great grandmother, maybe like four generations back had been praying like for generation, for generation, for generation. So when she ended up, like her daughter was now in the hospital, you know, she was like, what's going on? You know, she was telling me all these things. And when I went down to talk to like spirit and try to figure out, you know, not figure, but you know, the the chain they was taking me down to figure out what was really like the root cause of what was going on. It ended up being a contractual thing that the great grandmother, like great, great, great had done so many generations back. And every year, at that same month of the year, somebody in their family will end up in the hospital. And literally, why well, I had to talk to one of the imps, and then I talked to the devil himself, and they literally was like, it's a contract. Like, this is well, a blood for blood contract. You to the devil himself? Yeah, absolutely. I talked to an imp first. 
um, without being too deep, like I knew it was the devil because when I first got in my gift, one of the, like I said, the very second voice I ever heard, God was taking me into my own family's, you know, house. And he showed me the devil in like my sister's mom. We share the same father. So in their mother, right? So he got, I mean, God has shown me the devil in that entity, in that being. So I knew what the devil sounded like. I knew the devil's energy. So in that, when I had this encounter with this lady who was coming to me for help, because again, I do demonic attachment, you know, that's my specialty. It's like, you know, this lady's telling me like, this is what's happening. So she's giving me the backstory. Now here we are. I talked to an imp that had told me, okay, it's a contract, right? I'm like, okay, what's the contract? They were like, basically, they gave me the story that I just gave you in short. And I took it back to the grant or to the mother, because this was her daughter in the hospital. So the mother was like, you know, um, the mother was like, well, you know, what, what can we do? And I was like, ma'am, this is, this is like a blood contract. Like the, like, I was like, well, I'll go back and I'll find out. Cause honestly, when you're in this work, like the lady was saying, like, y'all know for real, when you in this work for real, you can't say, oh, you know what? I do this, I do this and this, this and this. No, there's no blueprint to this. Like you literally are like myself being guided by the Holy Ghost, being guided by God himself. So there's nobody here to be an example for me, if that makes sense. I am that yeah. example. So I'm learning this first example. And I didn't know in that example as a first, but I'm like, okay. Because like I said, when I talked to the imp, I thought that was the devil. That's what they had gave me. That's the vibration that I feel. They were like, nope, it's an imp. It's a lower vibration. I'm like, okay. When I talked to the devil, the devil said, no, it's a blood sacrifice. Only thing I would take, actually, the devil said this exactly to me. One of two things could happen. They could get another body in place of the body that was in the hospital, or I could give him seven years of life. I was like, do who what? Yes. Hell no. She's I'm not the truth. Giving, That's true. <laughs> I'm not giving you seven minutes, seven seconds, seven breaths, in nothing of nothing. And he said, oh, well, I guess we finna lose this one. I said, oh, well, I guess we finna lose this one. I asked God what he wanted me to do. I literally cried because that felt like the, the first body I was about to lose, like that I had, you know, the woman was in my in my church that I was connected to. So here we are. You know what I mean? I took it back to the lady. The lady said, listen, you take that weight off because I'm literally crying to this lady at this point. Finna tell her she about to lose her daughter because I know she's not finna give up nobody else. So I'm like, what? Have a grand uh, text. Right, so I'm like, oh, no. So the lady was like, listen, don't take the weight. You know, she's like, let it go. She's like, I will go ahead. She said, if you can make this stop from here, she said, I'll go ahead and let this be the last one. And I can tell you right now today that th that lady did lose her life. She did go into, you know, she combed out into because she was already in a coma. But it was something that just is something that put a vibration back into alignment that, like I said, we did things in past generations. Some of us did those things. That we now coming back to read, you know what I'm saying, mend and this, that, and the third. So I just want to come, you know me, I'm just a voice in the wilderness out here trying to hope somebody here. But you know yeah. what I'm saying? I just want to come chime and give a real example because it's 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 pride, you know, it's not pride, but it's like powerful for the lady to come and give that, but it's really, you know, walking on the on the eggshell or a crack too, because you can only say so much. So I just want yeah. to kind of come give like a real example, real, real, real life. So appreciate you, mama. You know me. So let me say this. So it's just say because I know a lot of people that you know that's come over from Tita Tita, they don't believe in God because she's taught them you know not to believe in God. And just at, with so much that's going on in the world, it's kind of it's, it's real hard for people to believe in anything. People are very confused. So is it safe to say that we must believe in God since we know that th there is existence, um, evidence of existence of, of a devil? I would say absolutely. You can believe in. Whatever you want to put in the title of that power that operates your heartbeat and is your soul. And the way that that creation, and I call it God, Yahweh Universe, atheism, pairs in the shoes and socks. When he gave me that energy, he gave it to me as it doesn't matter what you call me. You see what I'm saying? And for most of us that are coming back reincarnated into this vessel or to this body in this lifetime, we're, we're not meant to have a mediator be, between us. That's why we struggle so much. Because we're looking for that mediator. Oh my God, we got to follow Jesus because that's the mediator. No, God is wanting, Jesus only came, if we want to sit in that for a second. Jesus only came to be the example 
of what it looks like to get into a body and still stay connected to its source. That's all Jesus did. So if that be the example, then that's what you're supposed to do in everything that you do, the way that God created that through you. So it doesn't matter what you call that source. Call it shit on a stick if it's comfortable for you and go with that. Go with it wholeheartedly. Don't straddle the fence in it. And you know what I mean? Saying toe to toe, if somebody ever try to come tell you, it's not called shit on a stick. And that's really, you know what I'm saying, grand facts when it comes to what the way God gave it to me. It's like have that relationship, build that relationship, but it doesn't matter what you call it. I'd love to hear anybody else. Um, I would mm-hmm. say, because um, exactly. I have to keep in mind when I'm asking, wait, when I'm asking stuff, that's what you, you know how I feel, but I know that I'm trying to, you know, make clarification for everybody else that's still um, absolutely definitely I agree. Go ahead. Uh, love hey, um I just want to ask the person who um came up after me how can you serve two masters T are you talking to me what you mean by serving two masters yeah serve masters <laughs> Well, you said that you're in a music industry and also you're a spiritualist. And what that got to do with masters? I mean, well, I my masters, but other than that, what what are you saying? It's like are I'm saying, hearing walking through. That I can't, I can't sing, I can't dance, I can't act, I can't, you know, use my God given talents to entertain the people. No, I'm not saying that. I'm just asking, but I'm hearing it. It's like walking two lines, but I get that everybody has their own path um, and we're not all the same. But it's like kind of like when I asked, how can you serve two masters? It was kind of like the example serving both God and the devil. But maybe some people I'll just say serve one. I, I don't I don't understand what you're saying because my the, the my, 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 my spiritual cognizance is so much larger than that. We don't serve two masters. I don't have a master in the music industry. I, I haven't signed a contract in the music industry, so I don't I don't understand. I think because to me, it seems like you're coming from a um, religious standpoint of view. I don't have, mm-hmm. to, I don't, I don't, you know, co- I don't, you know, operate in that actual frequency. So I do my thing. Uh, I'm a pretty, pretty popular person out here. <laughs> so everybody knows that what I do is, you know, I help a lot of people. So I don't sing about shaking my ass. I don't shake my ass. I'm not out here doing drugs. Um, so it just, it wouldn't really, your question wouldn't really like resonate for me because I don't serve mm-hmm. two masters. I don't even serve one. So I get it. So my question doesn't pertain to you. I get it. But just, <clears throat> just hearing you speak, it's just kind of like, it posed a question like, how can you, or just, I'll just say now a person serve two masters. It's like, if, if I'm in a music industry, I'm not going to come back and talk about the music industry. You know what I mean? And it's like, why, I just heard double right Why wouldn't you? Would you be can I Can I chime in right there? I, I just want to chime in right here just as a, as a universal voice. So I understand um, Love Goddess, and I definitely understand um, the caller ahead of me or above me. I'm not sure what your name is, dog. But well, let's, let's sit right here for a second because I, I like the question, but I also understand where the question is posed from. So when you ask, you know, how do you serve two masters? One thing you have to identify as a journey we don't know what each other's destined energy is. We don't know what each other's destined plan is. Right. So when you come into certain circumstances and you now have, and I, I just gotta put, I just gotta call a spade a spade. When you have a judgmental eye, it's it's okay to ask a question, but when you look at it from a judgmental standpoint, it becomes a place where I'm saying now that God doesn't know that creative source that you know Tim was asking about doesn't have it planned or mapped out or whatever vibration you want to put into no, that space. Not right at there. all. Hold not on one, all. Second, one second. Give me one second. Give me one second. <clears throat> one second. So my, my, my interjection was when we look at it from, and this is not just for you, love goddess. It wasn't a directive to you. I just wanted to sit right there so we didn't go a little bit further for the collective. You feel me? I know we got it up here. I'm just giving this for the collective. So when we sit in the, in the space of, of, kind of questioning the assignment or the journey or why a person is when we question the why most of the time we're coming out of ego or pride so when somebody goes through a journey just so you'll know it'll help you and your family your friends your relationships 
People don't know why they do the things they do, but I guarantee if they had the same knowledge with the same understanding in the same seat, they would do the same thing. Okay, that's how we are. So I just want to just interject in for the collective that when we sit in that space of just, okay, this is why or how you, it's absolutely okay to go through an experience or still be in an experience and reach back from the point that you at and try to help either other people through that experience. So, you know, I just want to sit that there because we all go through that in our own life. We all go through that in our own way. And we look at it like, oh, well, I can't help anybody because I'm not ready or, oh, it's not there yet. No, absolutely. If you in it, in the pain of it, in the thick of it, but you can plant a seed somewhere else to help somebody else, absolutely. Why not? Go ahead with your conversation. <clears throat> so kind of just, and I get what I heard everything you're saying, but just the gist of it is like selling your soul. And it's like saying, it's okay to sell your soul. Everybody sells their soul. Everybody X, Y, and Z. No, absolutely not. I'm not saying it's okay to sell your soul. But what I am saying is that we all were sleep at one point. We all made sleep decisions at one point. Some of us are still sleepwalking, sleep walk, sleep, you know what I mean? Sleep exercising, sleep talking, sleep. We all doing things, but we still have a you know a, a limited mindset or a limited perspective so until you get to a certain degree where you can actually be in commonality or unity or humanism then you kind of still sit under under a table if that makes sense if i'm not trying to like i'm trying to be general and not direct at the same time so mm -hmm. i don't think you can i don't think 